Wildcats attempt to save the world. Alex owns up to his mistakes. And love is in the air. All this and more on this edition of the Cat's Eye News. Good morning, Wildcats, and here are the announcements. Matchmaker survey results are now available. Be sure to check your school emails. Midwinter break is on the 15th and 16th. Enjoy your long weekend, Nova. The Novi High School One Act is here, and while we can't see it ourselves, we can go behind the curtain and hear from the different department heads to see what it was like doing the One Act in this strange new environment. You can catch the full story on the Cat's Eye News YouTube channel. Hey Novi, Cat's Eye journalists Lisa and Morgan interview about the Recycling Club. Recycling Club, a group of students that has met weekly to pick up recycling in our school. They still meet through COVID, so how have they adapted to this new challenge? The transition from like no restrictions to COVID restrictions was kind of hard because Recycling Club is a club that meets every, used to meet every Wednesday and a lot of it was based on in person and gathering together. So then um, with the COVID restrictions and like limiting the number of people that are around each other, we kind of split the recycling into two days every other week, which is like Monday for one week, Tuesday for the next week. So then we could have less people come here every week and also have it be optional after school for both hybrid A and B students. It was kind of difficult at first just because we have to sort everything and we also had to cut down on how many people were allowed per group so we can only have like three per group so that means we have to do like more sorting of which people go to which rooms which is a lot of time and basically how it works is you just go around the school and you pick up the bins which are blue and green and then you take them outside from where the bus drop-off pickup is and that's where you see all the dumpsters and that's where we sort through recycling. We also use gloves now, so like just for hygienic purposes obviously. And so one thing that a lot of people may not know is that um, we have a paper recycling, the paper retriever. We get money back for recycling paper, which is why we sort. And our green bins are our paper recycling bins. However, our other recycling, plastic, cardboard, glass, things like that, we actually pay to have that picked up every week. So we offer both like two ways to join Recycling Club. Like one way, if you're not comfortable with coming to the school, then we let them do it, join virtually and they can send us like pictures of themselves recycling at home or like reusing or making um, homemade masks instead of buying disposable ones or making posters. And then um, in person every Monday or Tuesday, people can come in after school to recycle. Thanks, Lisa and Morgan. Now to Rita for more info about the Wildcat Roar. Roar! Hi, my name is Rita, and today I'm going to interview Arthi Amarnant of Wildcat Roar. So, Arthi, could you please introduce yourself? What role do you do in, uh, do you play in the Wildcat Roar? Um, hi, my name is Arthi Amarnant, and I am the editor-in-chief, one of them, uh, of the Wildcat Roar. Tell me about it, about the Wildcat Roar. What is it? Yeah, so the Wildcat Roar is the school's newspaper, which is both like a natural newspaper and mostly online. And in the Wildcat Roar, we write like articles and um, pieces that we feel the student body needs to hear or be informed of. That's our main obje objective of it. Nice. What, story, what, purpose, what type of stories do you cover? So, in the Wildcat Roar, you can literally write about anything you want. So, you could write about the most, like, silliest, kind of lighthearted things, like what's the best sandwich or something. And you could write about really controversial subjects or something big that's happening that maybe, maybe many people don't agree with, like, uh, like with Black Lives Matter or 
or something like that. So it ranges on a whole spectrum. And what is your favorite thing about Long Cut Roar? Um, my favorite thing, it's like one of the most unique classes I've ever taken. Um, not often do you get the chance to write about whatever you want, whatever, something you care about. And it's different from like that of an English class or anything like that. It's so unique and that's kind of what I really like about it. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Rita. Now to another edition of the No By Nine. Hey, No By, it's Ananya, and I'm here to talk about a segment that we have called the No By Nine. So basically, the No By Nine is where we interview a student or a teacher or anything like that, and we give them three questions and nine seconds to answer each question. Stay tuned for this week's episode of the No By Nine. Uh, sleeping because I don't get a lot. Ugh. Chaotic, sleepless, and stressful. Do not worry about college. Do not worry about tests. Just get used to the chaotic life of high school. What's going on, Novi? It's Alex back here with the weekly sports update. First off, let's get the obvious out of the way. My Super Bowl prediction was completely wrong. So congratulations to Tampa Bay for winning their second Super Bowl all time and Tom Brady winning his seventh. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, winter sports have finally returned. We have basketball, hockey, skiing, snowboarding, and wrestling. Speaking of that, two of those teams were in action on Tuesday night. The varsity basketball team lost it on nail biter to Plymouth, 44 to 43. It will be in action on Friday and Saturday against Howell. In addition, the varsity hockey team defeated Howell 6 to 4 with four goals scored by senior Isaac Gibbs and added two from Nate Erskine. That's all for your weekly sports update. Have a great day, Wildcats. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Cats Eye News, Wildcats. See you next Friday.